Today in the Mule Lab, I'm going to show you how to set up a Delta 60 space thread using our patented Mule retrofit kit installed on a Hartford 10400. Let's start by referencing the recipe we used the last time we ran this Delta 60. I will pull out the Mule bar for the start and for the finish. I will install the Mule discs controlling the pressure under the head and the disc controlling the pressure at the tip. Once I do that for the start, I'll repeat that for the finish. Let's start installing our tooling. I always start by installing the short die. I tighten up the pressure so the die is tight against the die pocket. Then I install the top clamps and tighten them both snugly. A Delta 60 thread form sets up very different than a machine screw. A standard machine thread has less pressure on the start and more pressure on the finish. The Delta 60 space thread has more pressure on the start and less on the finish. The screw also needs a little more pressure under the head to produce a full thread form over the length of the screw. Once I manually move the slide over, giving me access to the long die pocket, I'll install the die. Once the die is in place, I'm going to grab the start bar and start disc holder and install them behind the die. Then I'll repeat that for the finish. At this point, I have fully adjusted the mule die pocket and is ready to run the 60 threads. With these shorter dies, I like to take an extra step. I like to take a blank and jog it between the two dies. Once it's in the middle, I'll loosen the short clamp and retighten it to make sure the die is set firmly against the die pocket. And I'll jog it a little further to set the long die against the die pocket. I feel this gives me the ability to produce a consistent good first part. You may notice that I'm not performing a half roll and I have a future video covering this. I'm spending a little more time making sure the long die is properly pressured against the mule bars and discs and then I would like to add a little bit of air to the system. When I run a space thread I like to run at full speed to take a look at the threads to make sure they're fully filled out. They run a little differently going slowly or quickly, so I like to run them at full speed. You're going to see me here putting a blank in and then making sure the machine's running at speed to take a look at the sample thread. Now let's take a look at the screw a little more closely. You can see the thread is filled out evenly over the length of the screw and the root is clean. We can then measure the OD of the thread to ensure we meet our specification. We are now ready to roll 500 or 500,000 screws or even more.